This video is going to look at how you use a shared photo stream on an iOS device. So if you have an, an iPad or an iPhone or an iPod Touch or any um, Apple computer and you have photo streams set up in iCloud, then you can share your photos through photo stream with anyone you wish. So for example, you've just uh, taken a whole lot of photos at grandma's 90th birthday you can share those photos via photo stream to anyone in the family using their email address. Uh, the people you send the links to do not have to have an iOS device. You can still look at the photos uh, on the internet and they will appear in your iCloud uh, account. So the person looking at it doesn't have to have an iCloud account nor an iOS device. They can still look at those photos, view them as a slideshow or even download them individually. So to get started, you need to select some photos. So from the Photos app, let's we'll go back to the photos, select some photos. So using the edit button, I'm just going to select five photos and then share to photo stream. So I need to select who I'm going to send it to. So just for demonstration purposes, I will send it to myself. So you can have uh, a number of email addresses there. I'm just going to send it to me and name your album. So this one's called My Holiday. Uh, I'm going to turn public website on. And what that means is that whoever gets this email will be invited to share the photo stream on their iOS device. But if they don't have one, they can click a link and it will take them onto the internet to look at the photos. So I will keep that on and as long as this album is shared on my iOS device, on my iPad, uh, that link will still work. As soon as I delete it, if I delete the album or delete a picture out of that album, then uh, it will cease to exist on the internet site. So next, now you can put in a, a, um, a message because it's going to be an email, so I could put in a message in so that whoever gets it knows who it's, uh, what the pictures are and where they're from. And you can see the cloud there that says that this album, My Holiday, is available in the cloud, in my iCloud account. Then I post that. And that album now appears in my photo stream. Uh, here is all my photos in the camera rolls, the camera roll. But in the photo stream, I now have a shared album, shared by me. Now, I can go back and add more pictures to it. So if I can go into that album edits, add a photo, which will take me back into the camera roll and I can just add something else. I'll just pick something that I find quickly. And that adds more pictures to the actual shared album. So how do you actually get access to this if you're someone who, who the email was sent to? So on the computer, um, I can go to my email, find that mail. There's a message that's come that's come in inviting me to join a photo stream or view a photo stream. Now I can click that link there and that photo stream will then be added into my uh, iPhoto application. If I was on a Windows machine and I'd set up photo stream and downloaded, downloaded the uh, Windows iCloud control panel, it would also work on Windows. So I can join the photo stream and I get uh, some, some information there about what I need to be running. Uh, let's just open iPhoto because the actual album will appear in Photo Stream. There it is. It's already there. So it's got six pictures in there. So I could open those from, from within my uh, iPhoto application and, and then view them or download them or edit them or share them off to somebody else. So it actually works on, in, in there on iPhoto. Uh, the other thing it's asking me to do is view the photo stream on the web. So if I click that, it's going to open up this shared folder on the internet. So there's all the pictures in a, like, like a slideshow, if you like, or nice little views of them. If I wanted to see 
specific picture, I can click on it, which now turns it into a slideshow. So I can actually look at them one by one on the internet. I can look at them as a slideshow. I just look, them, look at them go through. Or I could download them. So this is the stop the slideshow, download that picture, and that's downloading to the downloads folder where I can keep them. Uh, if we look at this on the on the iPad, so going back into mail on the iPad and finding the actual link. So there's the message with the same information. I can join the photo stream. So when I tap that, it will add it into my photo stream in my uh, camera roll, which it already has done because it's coming from me anyway. But you saw it working on iPhoto. Uh, and I can also view it and it will take me into the uh, onto Safari and open up the photo stream in there where I can also look at them, open them one by one and save them by holding it down, save them back to my camera roll. So uh, now I've got access to someone else's and it's uh, and it's all going to be available to me from my photos app and in the photo stream there's the the shared folder